Hello! Welcome to Jack my, pack, my Jack Pack. So, since I'm making a head base anyway, and I'm working on his jaw, not his, but her jaw, and her, like, general face and everything, I thought I would show how I pattern my foam around my base and stuff. This is what I do. So, I will start by pinning a piece of paper onto the area I want to pattern. And then I will grab, like, my marker, like, I have my Sharpie. And then I will start lightly sketching on the areas on how I want the pattern to look. Like, this is going to be the cheek piece. So, this is generally how I want... It to look that's the general shape and then I will try to I will cut around that shape but not too tight because you don't know if it's too small or not so then I will like cut around the perimeter a pretty good size and then I will match it up to the head and then I'll trim it as desired the pattern I came up with for the cheek see I cut pretty big around the actual general sketches I did and then of course when i trace it it's going to be a little bigger on the foam so this is what the pattern will end up looking like for the cheek for me i leave a slip right here because i carve a smile into this one but this is how i pattern i hope it helps here's what the foam cheek will like look like when i have cut it out of course it isn't perfect but this is what it looks like when the foam is cut out and just pinned on of course, it will be carved to how I need and how it should look, but this is generally how the patterning and stuff I use works. It works pretty well for my method, but whenever I'm making the bucket, I will use like a traditional method of measuring around the head and everything, and it's a lot easier. But I don't know this, the shape of the eye blanks yet because I ordered them online, but I do a little extra around right here so if the eye blanks are a little smaller than I expected I will still have room and stuff to carve around it and we'll still have good vision but yes this is how it works I hope this helps